This video provides the secret to longevity achieved within the so-called blue zones, where centenarians reach beyond 100 years of age. I will dive into the chemistry of soil and water constituents which are theorized to be critical to longevity. You will understand the principles and theory to guide you to food and drink which may have similar benefits without living within the blue zones. The water, wine, tea, coffee, fruits and vegetables grown within these blue zones contain trace minerals with an abundance of transitional metals. These transitional metals are singular atoms or clusters of atoms with their electrons configured to a very low energy state. The presence of transitional metals in the soil plays a key role in human longevity in the blue zone locations. When transitional metals exist as singular atoms or clusters of atoms, the atoms transform into non-metals with dramatic different physical and chemical properties. This transformation occurs through the realignment of the four atom orbitals to their lowest energy state. After this transformation, the atoms become chemically inert. David Hudson has theorized that these atoms when consumed have health benefits. In the low energy state, these metals become non-metallic. They are known as monoatomic elements in a high spin state, also known as orbitally rearranged monoatomic elements, or sometimes called ormus. The monoatomic states are related to certain transition and noble elements, namely, gold, silver, copper, cobalt, nickel, and the six platinum groups, as highlighted in red on the periodic table. These monoatomic elements are stable, substantially pure, have non-metallic forms, and have unknown electron orbital rearrangement in the s, d and vacant p orbitals. The electron rearrangement bestows upon these monoatomic elements unique electronic, chemical, magnetic and physical properties and are repulsed by magnetic fields. Therefore, magnetic materials can be used to filter out and concentrate monoatomic elements. When the transitional metals are in the Ormus state, these atoms are superconductors. However, only gold achieves superconductivity at room temperature, the others only at lower temperatures. This animation shows how monoatomic elements are concentrated. Water flows through a pipe, with a magnet, installed. The donut hole of the magnet allows most water to flow through, but the magnet creates a magnetic field, which repulses the monoatomic elements which concentrate upstream. The monoatomic rich water is siphoned off, to be utilized. Experiments show that watering plants and trees with concentrated monoatomic element water results in significant increase in size and fruit mass. The monoatomic element treated fruits and nuts on the right grow significantly larger oranges, raspberries and walnuts compared to traditional grown fruit and nuts. A singular transitional metal atom may configure its s, d, p orbitals to a unique low energy state which transforms the metallic atom into a non-metallic form. The crystal-like atom or atom clusters are chemically inert and exist all around us undiscovered. This illustration attempts to sketch a non-metallic atom. The reddish haze is to show the protective field created by its low-energy orbital configuration. The actual electron orbital configuration is unknown. It is theorized that microwave energy bombarding transitional metals in their low energy almost state provides sufficient energy to disrupt the s, p and d orbitals, thereby changing the non-metallic properties of the atom back into a metal. This destructive energy occurs when high voltage is applied to a magnetron to convert the energy as microwaves directed by a waveguide to the atoms in the food in the cooking chamber as illustrated. They vibrate at 245 million hertz per second. In addition to the destruction of the almost state atoms, it is theorized that the heat generated to the adjacent molecules are creating free radicals and creating misformed fats and protein molecules which have been attributed to neurodegenerative diseases. Recent neurodegeneration concerns categorize environmental factors such as age, exercise, diet,
and lifestyle. Some researchers suggest that microwave ovens be added as an environmental factor. Cluster analysis revealed that microwave irradiation can indeed act as a promoter in the formation of new misfolded peptide structures of the hairpin type, which are generally associated with the onset of several neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's diseases and certain types of cancers, such as amyloidosis. The thermal heating of peptides and proteins causes their structured chains to rapidly unfold and to form new, denatured conformations of the so-called random coil. No clinical studies evaluating the effects of microwaved fats and proteins have been conducted to determine if the modified structures are neurodegenerative if consumed on a regular basis. Some believe that cooking food with microwaves may result in a loss of nutrients, particularly vitamins and minerals. However, numerous research studies contradict this belief and find that the relative short contact time when microwaving food has less adverse impact to food nutrition compared to conventional cooking. In summary, the blue zone locations appear to correlate well to volcanic soil conditions, implying that the monoatomic high spin state elements are more abundant in volcanic soils and thermal springs, implying that transitional metals converted to the monoatomic high spin state elements are more abundant in these areas. The crystalline non metallic form of the transitional metals when in the high orbital spin or mass state, is theorized by David Hudson to enhance human immune system and repair DNA structure. A singular transitional metal atom may configure its S, P, D orbitals to a unique low energy state, which transforms the metallic atom into a non-metallic form. The crystal-like atom or atom clusters are chemically inert, and exist all around us undiscovered. The reddish haze is to show the protective field created by its low energy orbital configuration. It is theorized that the microwave energy impact destroys the protective layer, realigns the orbital to a metal atom, thereby eliminating the unique properties. Further understanding of atomic orbital concepts and additional clarity on the atom structure are provided in these two videos. Please comment and provide your thoughts and theories on longevity.